Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to achieve this balayage with only using bleach and one color. So Sally came in today with major new growth. So all I'm gonna do is kind of touch up um, her highlights in a way, but uh, leave the bottom blonde. And I'm going to use a color just to lift her new growth just a little bit and then use the same color to tone the rest of the blonde. And I will be showing you exactly how easy it is to achieve this look. Anybody can do this. Start off by mixing my Ugly Duckling Brilliant Blonde Bleach uh, with a 30 volume developer. Now when mixing bleach you can make it uh, kind of pasty. That's the way I like, to, I like my bleach. If you make it too thick uh, the hair will lift faster. If you make it a little runny it'll take longer. And just like you would to touch up highlights, this is uh, the technique I'm using. Um, just to kind of uh, blend that root area with the rest of her blonde tips. I'm weaving some sections and I'm leaving a lot of hair in between. I am not taking very small sections. I'm taking larger sections because I still need that root to look dark. When I weave the pieces, some of the pieces, uh, some of the strands will be thick and some of the strands will be thinner. I don't want them all to look even. And the reason that I'm using foils is because I need to control where the bleach is going. Uh, I want to make sure that the bleach is not touching her, her ends. I don't want the ends to damage. So um, you could kind of just paint the bleach on the hair but uh, today I want to make sure that I stop exactly right there where that line is and this is the best way I can control it by using the foils and I'm leaving those blonde pieces untouched and out of the way. Now when doing tutorials there's always going to be some criticism but uh, you have to understand I do what works for me and my results always come out the way that I envisioned them. Keep checking the foils and when you see that um, it became a pale blonde color, you rinse it out and dry the hair and bring her back to the chair to apply the second uh, part which is, um, right now I'm mixing Ugly Duckling 10V, it's extra light cool blonde and this is the color that I will be using to uh, kind of lift her root just a little bit and tone the blonde at the same time. I'm using 20 volume developer and it's equal parts. So I'm applying this color only to her new growth and where those new highlights are and I'm leaving the tips untouched. I will be leaving this on her hair for about 10 minutes and uh, at the end uh, I will go and uh, touch up the rest of those tips for the remaining 10 minutes. And this color lifts more into a neutral, almost ashy color. It doesn't lift into a brassy color, which I really love. Now you guys, there's different ways of doing this. Uh, some hairdressers will go and they will touch up the root first with a color um, to brighten it up a little bit. And then they will go and add highlights and then tone. The, um, this is a quicker way for me and this is why I'm showing you this. It's, it's, I'm using a color to do both things, to lift her root a little bit and to tone those highlights. It makes this process a lot faster and the results are just as beautiful. After 10 minutes, I run the color um, down to her tips. And as you can see, it has lifted her new growth into an ashy color. Um, her original was almost black. So this is actually uh, a big change. And uh, as you can see the tips too, there's no more brassiness. This color works great for lifting and for toning. So after I wash and blow dry, this is what it looks like. And this is the indoor lighting and this is outside and the outdoor lighting and curled. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think.